Oh, exciting week. This is where we all make money. The thing about the Heineken Cup is to remember it's the modern equivalent of snooker's big day, the World Championships. All the home teams are worth considering. Away teams are under tremendous pressure and because of the inequality of French bookmakers and people not understanding Italian teams, there's value everywhere. So what we've got is, we're gonna get look at the 12 homes and make a decision on each one of them because this should ideally be the largest accumulator you do all year. Maybe put nine together, put all 12 in if you want, do, do, do the 11s of saves, but do them the way, the way you go. All right, starting Friday night and taking them in rapid fire. All right, Racing Metro will beat Cardiff Blues, first duck, all right? Harlequins will beat Connacht. Sorry, Connacht people. Harlequins, second home win. Third home win, Scarlets to beat Cast, right? Fourth home win, Munster to beat Northampton, right? Now we've already got 4 to 11, 1 to 14, 8 to 15, 1 to 2. Take the fifth one up, London Irish, all right? 2 to 9, another duck. Let's go. Keep it, keep it, keep it on that point of view. Montpellier, Leicester, Leinster. Right, now here's a tough one. Montpellier at home, first game. Mameluka go Godze to cause all kinds of damage. This is the one I'd make you think twice about. But going on a history, going on what happens in a Heineken Cup, take Montpellier, another duck, all right? Following this, we've got Eroni versus Leicester. Now, this is the one, this is the awkward one. Eroni are 11 to one to beat Leicester, and it's unlikely to happen, let's be fair here. But, Eroni played quite well the last few weeks and they've signed very well and they are nothing like the puddings they were last year. Leicester are playing dreadful, the Tigers are all over the place. Look at the handicap here. Take Eroni 10 to, the ha 10 to 11 on the handicap. That gives us another duck, all right? Moving on, slightly. Ulster again, Claremont. Now this is the one I think is hardest to predict. Ulster are very difficult to beat at Claremont. This is, or sorry, at Ravenhill. Ulster, very difficult. They've beaten all kinds of people at Ravenhill. Belfast's sort of a fortress like it can be for Munster. I also think Claremont are going to win the 2011-12 Heineken Cup. So I'm going to take a powder on this one and say I don't know what to do. So I won't have a 12-time accumulator. Make your own pick. Again, Ulster, good value, good, good value at home. All right. Next up, Ospreys. Take Ospreys 4-9 to, to beat Biarritz. Biarritz look the most shambolic of the top French clubs. Their top 14 form is nowhere, so that should be good. On Sunday, Glasgow Warriors versus Bath. Glasgow have been one of the better and more surprising sides on form in the rabble. They're running nicely. Scottish rugby's not in great shape, and I know Bath are a good side, but take Glasgow at home, tuned in and focused. Another duck, right? Last game. Sorry, second last game, Saracens against Benetton Treviso. Now, Benetton Treviso are a complete mystery to a lot of people who don't watch rugby. Yes, they're Italians, yes, they're canning fodder. Yet, if I told you that they win 50% of their Rabo games, okay, I'd be lying. They win slightly below 50% of their Rabo games. That means that these guys can play, they can keep a pattern, they know what they're doing. And in Tommaso Benvenuti, I think they're going to have a new superstar of say European rugby at least. He's got five tries for them last season. Let's see if he can score some more this season. Take Treviso on the handicap. The handicap's actually 21. I do not believe that Saracens will put more than 21 points on Treviso. So let's take it away there, 10 to 11, all right? Now, that just leaves the last match. Now, that's Toulouse and Gloucester. Now, we all know about Toulouse and Toulouse. Toulouse are fantastic. Fortunately, Toulouse over the years have managed to lose some strange games, and I actually don't like one to six. Believe it or not, I would leave that one out. I would stick with 10. Wouldn't be particularly mad about Toulouse at 1 to 6. But nonetheless, if you want to go for 11, take the 11 bets. So, the way I see it is back, do the 12 and perm 11s. Do the 10 or do 11, perm 10. Do 10, perm 9. What would I do? I would do 11 and I would leave out Ulster and Claremont and I would go for both Eroni and Treviso to win on the handicap. So that's nine home wins, the two Italians to win in a handicap, which is a big long bet, but if we get all our ducks in a row, this is gonna be a big, huge payout. Cha-ching!